Hi kids, are you ready for today's lesson? Today we are going to learn more divisions. Let's divide using times table. 8 divided by 2 equals to In last lesson, teacher showed you using three methods. The first one we use picture and then number line. Lastly, we use subtraction. Okay. Here, I want to show you how we use the times table to find the answer. As we know, divide is the inverse operation of times. Okay. We will use the times table to... Okay, and then 8 is the total. So, we should find 8 at the product here. Where is 8? Yes, 8 divided by 2 equals to 4. The answer will be 4. Okay, if we times 4 times 2 equals to 8, 8 divided by 2 equals to 4. The second question, 10 divided by 5. We will use times table 5. And then we should, we should find the product 10 divided by 5 equals to 2. The answer will be 2. Okay. Let's we find the solution for the question. There are seven cards. The cards are divided equally between two pupils. How many cards does each pupil get? What is the reminder? Okay. So, to write the number line, first we should find the total. The total is seven cards. 7 divided equally. That means divided by 2 equals to. And the reminder. We should find the reminder. Reminder means baki. Okay. We will use the first method that I shown in the last class. Okay. Here there are 7 cards and 2 Pupils, two groups. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there are only one left. Can we give to the first people? Cannot. Because then that will be not equal, right? So the one will be reminder. Baki. Can you understand? Because 7 can divide by 2 without reminder. There is a reminder. Okay. Now, we will use the second method to find the answer. That means we will use the what? Times table. Okay, first, times 2. Here is divide by 2, right? So, we will use times 2. Okay. I like to, if you write the numbers or times table like this. It's clear. Okay. Now, 7. We should find the product here. Okay. So, we should find the 7... At the, at the product here. Okay. That means 7 here. Is there any 7s here? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. There is no 7. That means we should find the number less than 7. Nearest to 7. And no more than 7. Kita kena cari. Tujuh kat sini. Tapi tak ada tujuh kan? Ok. 
Okey, kita kena pilih nombor yang paling dekat dengan tujuh, kurang daripada tujuh dan tidak melebihi daripada tujuh. Okey, here I will show you a step. Okey, we find the place of seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven is here. So, we should... 7 is here, right? Okay, we, we will choose 6 because 6 is smaller than 7, nearest to 7. Okay, and then we write the 3 at the up and then 7 minus 6, 1. Okay, it's very easy. Okay, 3, the purple color 1, we write at the top. And then 6 here, we write here. And then minus 7 minus 6, 1. The answer will be 3, reminder 1. 3, reminder 1. Okay. Let's we look the second question. 17 divided by 2 equals to, okay, we should write the, Solution like this. Okay. 17 divided by 2. Okay. Here we should draw the times 2. Okay. And then we should find the 17 here. Okay. Right. 17 at here. Okay. Where is 17? 0, 2, 6, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There is no 17. Okay. Where is 17 now? Okay. Let's we count. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. 17 ke sini. Okay, betul tak? So, cikgu garis nombor apa? 8 dengan 16. Pilihlah nombor itu. Okay. 8, we should write here. And then 16 ini kita write at the bottom. Then minus 1. Very easy. Okay, dalam. Okay. Sekarang kita kena cari 17 kan? 17 tak ada kat sini. Lepas tu kita cari 17 sebunyi kat mana. Okey. 16, 17, 18. 17 kat sini kan. So cikgu pun garis kat sini. 17 kat sini. So cikgu garis nombor apa? 8 dengan 16. 8 warna purple kita tulis kat atas ni. 16 kita tulis kat sini. 17 tolak 16 equals to 1. The answer will be 8, reminder 1. Okay. Next question. 43 divided by 5 equals to... Okay. We should write the solution like this. 43 divided by 5. We will use times 5. Kita akan guna sifat 5. Then... We should find the place of 43 year. Okay. Is it any 43 year? No. Okay. Kamana 43 ni sebunyi? Okay. Dia kurang, mesti kurang daripada 43. Dekat dengan 43 dan tidak boleh lebih daripada 43. Okay. 35, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40. Okay. Tak ada juga kat sini. Okay, kat sini pula. 41, 42, 43. Okay, so the 43 is where? Okay, 43. Okay, so here is 43. Okay, dia sebunyi kat sini kan? Okay, cikgu garis nilai apa? 8 and 40. 8 should write at the up. 
then 40 at the below and then minus then we will get the remainder 3 answer will be 8 remainder 3 okay 77 divided by 8 equals to okay we can use the picture but 77 is more we can't draw the 77 picture in short time so we'll use the times table here we will use 8 timetable okay 8 we should find the 77 here okay 77 ada tak 77 kat sini tak ada mana dia sebunyi bawa 9 okay 77 76 73 74 75 76 and then 77 so we should find the 9 times 8 equals to 72. We shall write 9 times 8 equals to 72. Minus, we'll get the product. 5 is the answer. The remind, the, okay, none. The answer will be 9 reminder 5. Okay, the next question. 60 divided by 7 equals to, okay. As usual, we will use the, this step, okay. 60 divided by 7, we will use 7 times table. Okay, 7. We should find where is 60 here. Is it any 60 here? No. Okay, and then where is 60? Okay, 56, 57, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, dia semunyi kat sini kan? Bawah dia. Kita dah nampak 60 dia. 60 dia kat sini. Okay. We should select 8 and 56. 8, we should write at the up. 56 minus, the answer will be 4. It will be reminder. Answer will be 8, reminder 4. Thank you. Now, you can try questions in your activity book. Page number 81 and 82.